Well, hello, friends. So in this section, we're going to learn all about how to install MongoDB on Mac OS. Great operating system. If you're using Windows, not a problem. You can just move on to the next section because we're going to cover installation on Windows, too. All right, so let's start with OS X setup for now. Now, there are a couple of pieces of software that we're going to be installing here. First one is the Brew Package Manager. So this package manager is used to install other pieces of software in libraries on our operating system. Very easy to install Brew. It just takes a couple of seconds. And once we have it installed, we're going to use it to install both Node and MongoDB as well. We'll be using Node mostly for tooling of our applications and packaging and MongoDB for our, well, database. And then finally, we're going to install RoboMongo, and it's a tool for browsing the contents of our MongoDB databases. So it's, uh, well, it's just a very helpful development tool. Now, it's not exactly or strictly required for this course, but once you see it in action, you're going to want to use it. All right, so we'll just walk through the installation of RoboMongo as well. So let's get brewing with brew. So like I said, the brew installation is very easy. I'm just going to open up a web browser and I'm going to navigate to brew.sh. Okay, so in here, I just scroll down a little bit and see the homebrew section. And you can see this big, long string right here. This is the installation script. All right, so all we need to do, you might already know this, but just hang out here for a second. All we need to do is just copy this stuff, click it here, and this is going to copy it to this clipboard. And then we just paste it into a terminal line to install it automatically. So that means I'll just open up my terminal. And I just paste the installation script, hit enter. All right, now I've already got Homebrew installed, so I'm not going to go through this particular process, but if you don't already have homebrew, or, uh, just hit the return key and go through that process. It only takes a minute to download and install. All right, so once all that's done, we can just move on to the next step, which is going to be Node. Now, you may have already got Node installed on your system, but we're just going to walk through the installation just for kicks. So get back to the terminal, run brew install Node, and that's how you use Homebrew to install packages, by the way. If you've never done that before, it's... So we access a library or the package manager with the brew keyword. Then we say that we want to install a package. And then we just say the package that we want to install. Of course, I already have Node installed, and I'm not going to run this again. But if you already have it installed, I uh, just recommend that you update the version of Node that you have if you have a version that's older than version 4. All right? You do know how to check your current version, right? Just run Node-V. All right, so you can see in this case I've got version 12. Now, if you have an earlier version, uh, well, before 4, I'd recommend that you update it. And you just do that by running the command brew upgrade node. All right, very good, very good. So now we're just going to go ahead and go through the MongoDB installation process. And of course, we're going to be using Homebrew to install MongoDB. So we'll run brew tap MongoDB slash brew. All right, so this is the official homebrew formula for MongoDB and the database tools. So then we can say brew install MongoDB-community to install MongoDB. All right, so it's installed onto my system. So installing Mongo is very easy. Yes, yes. All right, so we'll start up our MongoDB server. So we just run the command brew services start mongo community and that starts the server and when i run that command mongo will automatically 
start up for me at any time that I start my computer. And each time that I restart my computer, Brew will automatically start the Mongo app again as well. All right, so we see a result in here. MongoDB successfully started. All right, so to stop it, we can run the command brew services stop MongoDB community. Man, that's pretty much it for now. All right, because that wraps up the setup. So let's, uh, let's pause right here and continue in the next section where we're going to do our setup of RoboMongo.